Yeah. Um, I would say the most surprising thing about the strike so far, so far, has been <laughs> that um, I haven't found love yet. And like, <laughs> this is my one goddamn opportunity to rely on my hotness and not my ability to pitch takes on the incredible IP. And like, I even bought this. I bought this <laughs> to like manifest. And being WGA East, um, well, there just aren't that many opportunities for us. Um, you know, WGA West has that singles picketing night, complete with a, a taco truck, like paid for by the cast of Succession, and we don't have that. Um, and not only that, like I haven't even gotten like a missed connections. No one like, who's that girl who somehow has natural beachy waves, even in New York City, like nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I didn't become a writer for my sparkling personality. I became a writer because I, I don't, tan, I burn, you know, and sitting in windowless offices on Zooms with execs who are telling me to make the sky blue, and then they're like, oh wait, no, make it green, and they're like, wait, why is the sky green, skies aren't green, who gave you that, no, was it Seth, I bet it was Seth, well Seth's over at Celebrity Overall Deals now, and, and so you got me, and, and I actually don't like anything that Seth was working on, and I want the sky pink. <laughs> yeah, so it's, getting notes about the sky outside that I can't see, but can burn me, felt like the perfect way to protect my hotness. <laughs> what time is it? Is it raining? Who knows? Actually, I know. Now I know. I know, because every morning at 4.30 a.m., I wake up, and I put on my WGA t-shirt that has strike written across the front in big, angry, red letters. And I grab a bacon, egg, and cheese with hot sauce and eat it on the G-train and get hot sauce in my pores on the G-train. And I head to Greenpoint to meet the early risers who are not as cute as I wanted them to be. But we get there early and we say my favorite chant and we get to shut down another episode of Billions. So. I guess that's pretty cool. My favorite chant. Oh, yes, of course. It's um <laughs> when I say AI, you say bye bye, AI, bye bye, AI, bye bye, I bye bye. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have joined WGA West instead of WGA East. I mean I know I didn't have a choice. And, I know I naturally radiate the confidence of a New Yorker, but um, I just know so many people who got laid on the Netflix picket, like, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, all I get to choose between is like the entire cast of SNL and, and the oldies who picket in Long Island City. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe I am, I am being too harsh. Cause like, here's the thing. I want the cast of SNL to want me. But I don't want to want the cast of SNL. But the truth is, I do want the cast of SNL. Theoretically. Obviously. Does that make sense? Like, I want them to look at my floral sun hat and be like, holy shit. I wonder what trauma she writes about. Like, <laughs> like what is she hiding under that hat? You know, all her floral thoughts. I bet she's depressed. No shit, I'm depressed. <laughs> I am a television writer who, who burns in the sun and, and, and doesn't get complimented enough on her good looks. Like, fuck! Why, why do people only compliment me on my words? 
Like, do you even see my freckles and my beachy hair? <laughs> Fucking idiots. <sighs> the truth is, I have a lot of trauma, but I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm on strike and in therapy. Thanks to the health insurance I get from being a proud union member. The truth is, I'm terrified and proud all the time. I'm still, I'm still becoming a person, I think. And it, to even say I'm a writer aloud is scary. <laughs> Holy shit. To say it next to you all in a picket line. What a fucking honor. What a fucking sexy honor. <sighs> so, WGA East Complaints Department. <laughs> I guess I am just recording this to say I could use some more compliments <laughs> and some more sunscreen. I burn. I would burn next to you all.